Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Wisconsin Limited Liability Company known as an LLC and we will do this online. If we go to this site right here for the corporate formation, come down and click on Limited Liability Company and this tells you what you need describes all the different areas that you will need to fill out and there will be a filing fee of $130 if you do it online. I believe it's like $170 if you fill out paperwork and send it into the state. You can come down here and we can click on click here to start filing. Now one thing you need to uh, make sure of is that your name that you want to file your new limited liability company as does not already exist in the database. So you can check these two links here. And I've already clicked this and put this in another tab and it looks like this. And I just did a search for real estate just to show you what comes up here. These are all the different real estate LLCs in the state of Wisconsin. I am going to try to start a new LLC called Video Pizzazz. So I will put that in here and do a search and nothing comes up for Video Pizzazz. So that's good for me. So that means that name is available in Wisconsin to use. Now I will go back to this site here and this item number three here it says the name must contain the words Limited Liability Company or Limited Liability CO or an abbreviation of LLC without periods or, or L dot L dot C dot. I'm gonna put in the name of my new company here called Video Pizzazz. And we'll click on next. And we need to fill out the registered agent and office address. In this case, it's going to be me. All right, so I entered my first name, middle name, last name. I don't have a suffix. Do you can pull this down and select one of those. I'm not using an existing corporation or limited liability company or any of this stuff here, so I'm not going to do that. And then put in my address, city, state, zip code, and click next. I'm gonna click here and you can read more about managers or members. So I'm gonna come back here and in my case, I'm going to select members or member and click next. Okay, so now we need to fill out the organizer name and organizer address. And if there's more than one organizer or if there's partners in the LLC, you'll need to save and add another down here if you would like to do that. But in my case, I just put in my first name, middle name, last name, my address, city, state, zip, country, and I can click on save organizer. So now it's just uh, doing a review of what we put in and it's listing our main organizer. And if we had additional organizers, it would list them out too. And it's just verifying that it's correct information before we move forward. So make sure that that is accurate and then click on next. Okay, so now they want to know who's drafting up this document. And in this case, it's me. So I will put in my first name, middle name and last name. And middle name is, is optional. You don't have to put that in. And then this document is executed outside of Wisconsin. No, it's not. It's, this is in Wisconsin, so I'm not going to check that. And then that's down here, it's just telling you that if you do not declare a delayed effective date, this document will be effective on the day it is received by the Department of Financial Institutions. So you could set this all up and, and have it become effective a month from now, let's say, if, if you wanted to. And so you would just click here to uh, set the date that you wanted this document to become effective. If you want it to be a come effective immediately, say today or tomorrow, whenever the Department of Financial Institutions receives this information, then you wouldn't do anything there. And then you can click on next. All right, so then we're going to electronically sign this document. In my case, there's only one organizer, so I only have to sign it. So I would just click the box in front of my name and click next. Okay, so now we will fill out the contact information. So we just put in our first name, middle name is optional, last name, suffix if you have one, 
in your address, city, state, zip, country, and then put in your uh, email address to be contacted, and then put that in again just to verify there's no typing errors, and put in your phone number, put in an extension if you have one, and then in my case, this is a US phone number, so I will just click next. Okay, so they want you to review this page very carefully to make sure there are no typing errors and all the information is correct. Check this box if you would like this to be expedited. You would get your LLC set up in the next couple of days if you pay an extra $25. I'm not going to do that. Come down here and we review this. Here's the name of our LLC, Video Pizzazz LLC. And the name of the initial registered agent is me. And my street address is right here. And I'm setting this up as a member of this limited liability company. The organizer is also me. So I put my information in here. I am the drafter, so I put my name in there. I am the organizer, so I put my name in there. And I would be the contact person. So I have my contact information in there along with my email address and my telephone number. So I think everything looks correct. We'll click on next. All right, so now we're at the payment page. We need to pay $130 for the processing fee for the limited liability company. So come down here and select your payment type, whether it's Visa, MasterCard, American Express, put in your credit card number, put in the security code on the back of your card, put in the expiration month and year, and then put your name in that's located on the card here and click submit payment. It says we have received your articles of organization for Video Pizzazz LLC. A confirmation email has been sent to dan.fashionbar at gmail.com. Click here for a printer friendly view of the received document. All right, so I can click here and I can print this. And then I can close this window, close this window, and close this window, and I can check my email. And I got two emails. So I got a submission email, and then I got a filed email. It says we have accepted and filed the Wisconsin Limited Liability Company articles. And I can click this, and that looks like the same information that I just printed. All right, so we should be good to go. We just have to wait for them to mail us our LLC information, and we will be set up and running. Now that you have your LLC set up, it's time to grow your business with your very own customized professional video commercial. Video Pizzazz is a video agency with clients around the world, and we can help you market your business or products. Contact us today.